Hey there, YouTube. And sculptor David Standifer over here has been working on a statue of President Barack Obama. This is not a small statue. Is this is not a bust. This is full size, full body. Uh, this is over six feet tall. And David, you're, you're a pretty tall guy yourself. Yeah. And you're standing next to this. And yeah, right, even on the platform, it's taller than you. <laughs> um, this is something you've been working on for quite a while. Yes. Where, did, where did the idea come from? The idea came from my mother who passed away in 2015. She was a great fan of Barack Obama's and she loved the fact that he did his best to try to unify. And when she passed away, I wanted to do something that to honor her and also uh, the presidency of Barack Obama. And so you've been working on this for a little while, just a little while. Yes, this, a piece this size, I've been working on it for three to three and a half months. It's been a labor of love. I'll take a look at some of the precision on this. You can see smile lines, wrinkles along the eye, the eyebrows, the hair. The attention to detail. is certainly impressive to look at and it doesn't take very long to you know i'm standing right in front of it here i'm like there he is and then something else that you spent a lot of time with were the teeth right and that's something that people usually shy away from yes um sculpting teeth is usually a no-no it's a disaster for a bust or a statue but i thought if i'm going to do this i'm going to challenge myself and in doing so um, barack obama is known for Take a look at some of the other details here. Looking at the hands and the knuckles, the fingernails. And so what happens with this is he finishes with the clay formation here and he's been tweaking it even as I've been here today and you can, you can touch it without really doing anything to it because it, it's good, it's malleable, but it's firm. Yeah. Um, he will then, you'll have this molded and then cast in bronze and see where it winds up, right? That's correct. We have no idea what the final resting place will be, but um, we do have some hopes. One is the Barack Obama library. And then the other thing is there's one piece of this, even when you're done tweaking, that you're not sure it'll be finished because you're, you, you were originally envisioning putting the president's dog in here, right? Yes, so, dog so what? But, but what's the debate that's left in the air? Let's share that with folks. Okay, I am deciding whether I should have Bo as a puppy and have Barack Obama holding him, or Bo as an adult dog. It would be nice to hear from Barack Obama about that. It would be nice to hear from you about that too. So, all right. So, if you're watching this, feel free to comment, and we'll see what see what folks are thinking about this statue of President Barack Obama. Again, more than six feet tall. David Stanifer here has been working on this for more than three months. Yes. And this is something that is his, an homage to his mother in many ways, someone that she admired and someone that David, you said you admire as well. What, what really sticks out to you about him that was so uh, inspiring? His tireless attempt to bring the country together. That is a very difficult thing to do, but he never, he never stopped trying to bring the country together. Let's take a lap around this statue to show you the entire thing. And you can see even the suit bunches up in the back like a suit would. So there you have it. This is a statue of President Barack Obama tie with the dimple, American flag pin, and he is quite possibly adjusting one of his cuff buttons there. So we'll, we'll leave that to your interpretation. Again, this is still in the work, still being tweaked, but almost done. This has been what David Standifer calls a labor of love. So we're gonna have more on the story and an interesting uh, tidbit about where the clay for this came from. 
So we'll have that later on abc7chicago.com. So be sure to tune into our website later to check that out and get the full story. Thanks so much for tuning in here, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.